we're back with another video of Dragon Mania Legends. Today we're going to be looking at the Plasma Dragon. I think this is the Plasma Dragon's egg. I haven't really looked at it yet, but here it is. Really dark purple vibe. You know, when I look at something that dark purplish, it kind of makes me feel like it's evil, in my opinion. But here it is. We're going to hatch this dragon's egg, and it is a common dragon, so it's not really... Wow, look at those electrifying. You, you know, they shouldn't have made this one a common. Why would a common dragon have such electrifying aura? <laughs> aura is what I'm calling it because I like calling it aura. But you kind of get what I mean, right? Those, those amazing electrifying thing that's going through his body is just uh, simply amazing. Enough said. Let's place this dragon into a habitat. Um, you know what? Let's go. Hey, why can it go into the legendary habitat? I don't get that. This isn't a legendary dragon, right? Alright, let's place it in the legendary habitat. Or, yeah, so... Is this a legendary dragon? I don't get it. Can any dragon go into a legendary... Oh, this is the eel dragon. What? Did they change the name? Alright, let me just head back on here. I thought it was a plasma dragon. Alright, never mind. I got it wrong. It's not the plasma dragon. It's the eel dragon. So it's this dragon. Ah, that's why. Because they're all both purple and they look very similar. Element of water and element of energy. Energy is what they're calling this element that is essentially lightning. There it is. The eel dragon. Unfortunately, I got that wrong in the beginning. I thought we were looking at the plasma dragon. But we're actually looking at the eel dragon. Here it is. And it's really a electrifying that's what I'm gonna say electrifying I like the these these aura kind of things whenever they put the aura it should be a special dragon that's what I think I mean it's like Super Saiyan <laughs> all right I don't know why I said that but you kind of get what I mean whenever they have an aura it just looks that much cooler and special it looks special and then when it stinks that's when you, you kind of realize, hey, something is wrong here. But anyways, there it is, the EO Dragon. This is the first form. We're going to feed it, and then we'll get it to the second form, and then we'll take a look at the second form's evolution to see what it becomes. I think we already saw it in the market, but let's do this. All right, so here it is. Oh yeah, look at that. Electrifying. That is just, yeah, look at it. It's just so cool looking. I mean, he definitely looks like a legendary type of dragon. Unfortunately, he's not He's not anything special. He's a common dragon. And you can get it pretty easily. Um, for us, we used the combination of, we actually didn't um, exactly use a direct combination. If it was my opinion, I'd say use the water dragon and the energy dragon if you want to get this dragon. But in the combination, we actually use something else. We're actually looking for another dragon. So what I used was a four element combination. Uh, energy and clownfish is what I used. Which is also good because this is a common dragon. You're always looking to, for the dragons that are much more rarer. 6 hours and 23 minutes on a 20% breeding discount is what you're looking for or some, somewhere similar I know that these 20% discount can be a bit annoying when calculating it but unfortunately that's what we have so that's what I have to go by I mean I can't breathe again alright up next hatching time I think we should take a look at the hatching time I think the hatching time is the time it might be or but it's nine hours and three minutes I don't get how where they get these things nine hours and three minutes usually it's most likely like hey um, you know, f 4 hours and 59 minutes and 59 seconds, but 9 hours and 3 minutes is the time, hatching time. 